Welcome to the GoToWebinar Audio Made Easy tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to set up audio for individual webinars as well as how to set your default webinar audio settings. Log into your account from GoToWebinar.com or from the orange icon in your system tray. Both options will take you to the Schedule a Webinar page. Let's start with setting up a single webinar's audio and then I will demonstrate how to adjust your default webinar audio settings. We will use a standard webinar for this video. Webcasts and recorded videos are covered in other support tutorials. Give your webinar title and enter the date and time of the webinar. Here, you can choose if you'd like to make it a recurring webinar. For this example, I will make it a single event. Confirm your time zone and click Schedule Now. Now you have scheduled your webinar and will be able to manage a variety of other options and features. For this video, we will focus on the audio portion. Click on the Settings tab and you will see the default audio settings that are active on your account have been used and numbers have been generated for you. I will demonstrate this in a minute, but as you can see, these are numbers based on the default audio settings I have. I can click here to adjust the settings for this specific webinar. You can choose from telephone only, telephone and voice over IP or VoIP, VoIP only, or you can also add toll-free numbers. Another option is to provide your own conference call numbers. Setting up toll-free numbers and toll numbers works the same way. If the box is checked next to that option, you will click on edit, add the countries you'd like to provide attendees, and click save. It's very simple to use. As you can see, this specific webinar is set up how I like it, and I will leave it like that. Setting up your account's default audio settings is basically what you just saw. However, you will adjust these default settings from your settings icon here. You will recognize the format and everything is adjusted the same way. The difference is that these will be what any future scheduled webinars will start with. As you saw, those can be adjusted still. I'll make my default audio settings just the United States and the United Kingdom. Make sure you save any changes made. Now, these are your default audio settings. When in session, you can still adjust what audio you use. You can switch between any audio option made available. Phone callers will see the phone numbers, the access code, and the PIN number. As a webinar attendee, it's very important to enter the PIN number, otherwise the organizer will not be able to mute that individual. You can switch to computer audio anytime during the webinar if you like. It is always easy to switch back again during the session. You can click here to check your audio in session. Utilize this tool to test your microphone and speaker configuration. When that is all set, take a look at the attendees in the control panel. Each attendee has an icon next to their name that shows how they joined, either by telephone or by voice over IP. The organizer can also mute and unmute panelists by clicking on this icon next to their name. Finally, let's take a look at a few best practices working with audio and go to webinar. We recommend using a USB headset and a high-speed internet connection. We also recommend a wired connection as opposed to Wi-Fi. Close unused programs and turn off any music you may have on in the background. This will help free up bandwidth. If joined via a smartphone, turn up your handset volume to make sure others can hear you. Also, turn off any other phones that may ring or buzz during the webinar. As well, store away nearby wireless devices that can sometimes interfere with your signal. Best of luck with all your webinar events audio, and with GoToWebinar, you can expect flawless audio.